Welcome to this video. In this video, we're going to discuss factoring a common factor, which you will also see referred to as GCF, greatest common factor. Okay, so um, we're just going to work a few problems so we can review a few skills. Uh, the first thing you always want to think about is how many terms do I have? So like in this first problem, you have two terms. And then you want to think about what is common to each term. Well, they both terms have an x variable and both terms have at least two x's so that means I can factor out an x squared okay and so when I factor out an x squared to figure out what's remaining after that's been factored out you want to think about dividing each term by x squared okay so if I take 4x to the fourth and I divide out an x squared I have 4x squared remaining, okay? And then minus x squared divided by x squared is 1. Okay, so this would be my result after factoring out the GCF, okay? Now, a little note here, this binomial actually factors more, okay? Uh, it actually factors to 2x plus 1 and 2x minus 1 and we would leave that x squared on the front. So just so you know, we will be talking about that in another video. Uh, but uh, for now, we're just focusing on just getting this greatest common factor, okay, factored out. So let's look at the next example here. So first, you have, want to think about how many terms you have. You have three terms. And then you want to think about what is common in each of the three terms, okay? well. First, you want to look at your coefficients, your coefficients 4, 6, and 8. A common factor is 2, so that means I can factor out a 2. Then look at the x's, and all three terms have at least one x, so I can factor out an x. And then if you look at your y's, all three terms have a y. In fact, they all have at least a y squared. So that means I can factor out the y squared. So my greatest common factor is 2xy squared. Now to figure out what's left, here's where you want to divide this out of each term. So 4x cubed y squared divided by 2xy squared is 2x squared. Okay, and then minus Okay, you've got your 6xy cubed divided by 2xy squared, which will be 3y. And then third, you want to take that 8x squared y to the fourth and divide out your 2xy squared, which will result in 4xy squared. Okay, and that is what's remaining. Once again, as a check, you can think about if I was to multiply this GCF back in, what I get back to the 4x cubed y squared minus 6xy cubed plus 8x squared y. Okay, so you can think about multiplying that back in to make sure you would get back to what you started with, and that's just a way to check your answer. Okay, and but as far as just factoring out the greatest common factor, this would be your answer here. Okay, now if you look at the third example, we have two terms. Okay, some students would look at that and say that's four terms, but that's only two terms. And uh, each term has a y minus six. Okay, so that is what is common. Okay. So that means I can factor out the y minus 6. All right, now if I take this first term and I factor out the y minus 6, I can cancel the y minus 6 for the y minus 6, and I'm just going to be left with a y remaining. Okay, the second term, if I divide by the y minus 6, I would cancel those out, and I would just have a 9 remaining. Okay, so this would be, this would be my answer, okay, with my common factor, the y minus 6 factored out. You're just left with that y plus 9. Once again, if you were to multiply this back out, you can get back to what you started with. So that's how you know you're correct.
Okay, so this is just a quick refresher. If uh, you're feeling like you need more uh, practice with this, then you want to check your textbook. There's a lot of good examples there. Also, um, reach out for help from me if or um, uh, classmate or wherever you think you can get some help, okay? But you need to understand the skill. We're going to use this throughout the entire semester. So I'll see you in the next video.